Hey, Lockmart. How are you doing? How's the audio on your side? Is the music too loud? How's my voice? <laughs> oh my! <laughs> Thank you for the compliment. jaw seems to be going through my, uh, or my teeth seem to be going through my jaw. Hi Kazakia, how's it going? It's going meh! Why is it going meh? And uh, Lawn Dart, it sounds metal because I found this on uh, Epidemic Sound and it is uh, a album called Headbangers. And I like it. It sounds good. Oh, teeth going through my head sounds metal. <laughs> At the time, whenever I smile, it makes me look like I'm drunk. Oh well. I'm gonna see if I can fix this real fast. Much better. So how's your day going? Be excited to find out why uh, Zoe's bald. We're going up against Saya and Vamon. Hi, Tiz. Uh, it is Headbangers from Epidemic Sound. Are you sure? Uh, she is not bald because she is turning into One Punch Man. We'll be finding out today why she has uh, lost her hair. <laughs> the song is called Baby Lullaby. Uh, actually, give me a second. It's called. Uh, the last one was called Aberration by Sightless and Shadow. This one is called Falling In and Out by Death Kite. Okay. 
so you made a hamburger, I heard. Here it is. I hope it is tasty. I think I've got uh, Allie calibrated pretty well. She was doing a little bit too much of uh, uh, messing with her mouth. I don't need my teeth going through my jaw. So let's see. This is scared. Uh, this is neutral. And this is smiling. And this is angry. I think I may need to recalibrate that at some point. Basically, I want it to be able to... I want to be able to trigger it and not have it just start randomly cycling through it. Digging this song. I'm gonna make Ali swing dance. I look forward to that. What kind of processor cycles do you have right now, anyways? Oh, Tiz, you should have seen it. Uh, he he got a uh, water cooling system. Water-based cooling system? I think that's what it's called? I'm not sure. I know All I know is I don't have it. Yeah, I believe he said that he was going to um, be updating it soon. It's literally just bolted onto the outside of it. It's pretty neat looking. Alright, well we're within a minute of getting the game started, so I'm going to get some stuff up and running. Ellie's angry because stuff ain't working the way I was wanting it. Alright, there we go. Now it's starting to do what we want. Okay, so last time on Dreamfall Chapters, we were with. Um, I think we were with Zoe last, but. Oh! Do you see what I see? There's a little bird. There's a bird at the window. 
Is that to say that uh, Saga is free as a bird? <laughs> Alright, well, let's get the game started. Come on, Allie, why are you stuck at angry? Okay, apparently we are actually um, Kion to start off with. What was our goal? Uh, I think we needed to go talk with someone. We just had the war meeting here. Oh, we gotta talk to Liko, of course. That was a good speech. They will follow you to their deaths if necessary. I hope that won't be needed. It's enough to know that we stand united. It's what we've been fighting for. And I no longer have to feel torn between two worlds. Thank you for trusting me, Liko. For convincing me to bring you to Guyenne. I... I consider you my brother, Liko. Aww. Stay safe tonight. Alright. Everyone looks ready. Let's do this. For Shepard. For Enu. For Shepard. For Bob who can see. For all who were lost. For family. Family. I'm still mad that Enu Take died. Care, brother. May your god a smile upon you tonight. Let's see, is there anyone else we can talk with? So much is on that man's shoulders tonight. I hope they're stronger than they don't look. Don't know those, don't know those. Their shoulders don't look very strong. Oh, there's Anna. We haven't had a chance to speak. Anna, Elena, we haven't- Yeah, it's fine. I'm not... Talked and... Sorry, what were you saying? Nothing. Uh, don't worry about it, Kian. Really. I'm glad not you're back. Not my type! We have a job to do. We can talk... after. Good, yes. After. We really should. I'll escort Ferdell to the engine house in the green and watch over him while he does... whatever it is that he needs to do. Kian, are you sure we can trust him? Do we have a choice? Yes, I, I believe we can. Okay. He'll be ready when you found your way into the tower. Something Hami said. Utana learned of my trip to Gien from whether she is Utana's trusted source or not. It doesn't matter now. So Did you tell Utana about Gien? I... Uh, all right. Yes. Yes, I did. It was... I did it to help you. I trust the mother. I always have, ever since... Well, you know, you and her, you saved my life half a lifetime ago. I'm sorry for trying to help. <laughs> if you hadn't told Utana, I'd be dead now. So, thank you. That's it. Thank you. We might never see each other again, and... I can't give her what she desires nope. most. Words can never bridge the gap. I can't. We'll see each other again. Really? Well, if you say so. You have a lot to learn about women, Kian. But I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Uh, Elena. Are we leaving soon? Because if we wait much longer, I'm afraid I'll just curl up into a ball and be of no use to anyone. The streets are crowded <laughs> with workers and the Zardi are staying out of their way. There's no better time. This whole reaping thing is giving them the willies. It's way too pagan for our pious occupiers. I'll find a way into the heart of the tower. And we'll stand by and wait for you to contact us. You still believe you can shut the engine down remotely for Daz? With your help? Unless they've disconnected the pipes. Yes, I believe so. I know they're still waiting on the final calculations to be sent to the tower, so if we hurry... Then let's not waste any more time. Just get inside the tower and find the engine and contact us via the speaking tube. I'll walk you through the steps needed for me to take control, and then I'll force the engine to crash. Crash? crash. If we feed it the wrong instructions, the engine will stop working. Like a, a, a cloud ship that, um, crashes into a mountainside. It's complicated, but really quite easy. We'll have to take your word for it. I've worked Make on it the calculate engine for years. pie. I know how it operates. Let's Pie's go. tasty. Be safe, Kian. If you die, I'll be very cross with you. Do you and other people, too. All 
Alright, we gotta find a way into the tower. Tower was up there, I think. Let's make sure not to. Wells in the endless desert for Everyone is lit. They're supposed to be. If we're lucky, they'll burn the city to the ground. Take a look at people. If burning wicker witches makes people feel safer, then so be it. I won't stand in their way. As long as they keep to burning straw puppets. Reap Moon's Eve must be very important to Mercurians if they're willing to make such fools of themselves. Okay. Is this guy okay? Uh, he seems to be uh, puking. Okay. Good Elgwin, nice. My bad. Let's see. Is there anything else we can see? Okay, guess not. I do have it ready to go. But why is there an, why is there an invisible wall right there? That's rude. Course not. You. Wait. You are a true friend. <laughs> so it's just you. There's and a me. guy on top of that Elgwin. You and me forever and ever. Forever oh man! And ever and ever. I never saw that before. Hey, Lorenzar, did you see that last time? <laughs> oh, that's great. should get involved. That's what they're here for. But there's no gather sympathy round, for magical friends, creatures. Gather round, friends, gather round. A most joyful Reap Moon's Eve to you all. Oh, this Witness, fucker. a magical abomination has appeared among us on this holiest of holy nights. It's an affront to decency and humanity. A foul, feathered, chattering... Foul! Okay. Joke's on me. Uh, Open this cage what? right now. It speaks with the voice of the great necromancer. That's the voice bro. Of the what now? Hold your breath, feathered servant of the shadow. Keep your obscene beak shut. Can't argue with the obscene beak bit, but I'm not liking this whole bonfire thing you've got going on. I smell charred feathers. Soon the grand ceremony begins. And the great engine ushers in a new age of reason, logic, and humanity. No. And no, no, no. To sorcery. We cannot let this foul heresy poison the night with its squawks and feathery filth. This oh, he's tight foul with the, mocked me uh, once before and caused a fellow with father the Azadi, a of course he knows. great physical pain and discomfort. The man may never be able to drink without dribbling again. All because of this... this freak of nature! Good. I, Honor Hilaris, candidate and faithful servant of humanity, will personally light the bonfire to rid Mercuria of this final remnant of diseased magic. Honoring our ancient human traditions and... You gibbering coward! When are you gonna shut up and just go away? People are sick and tired of your racist tirades. If anyone here should be burned on that bonfire, it's you. Preach, Killing sister. Killing that poor bird is the complete opposite of what the reaping's all about. How dare you claim to represent humanity when there's nothing human about you at all? Here, here. <laughs> and you, 
You're supposed to be keeping the peace, aren't you? When were you planning to put a stop to this? Are you just going to let that madman burn birds and incite violence in the city you've sworn to protect? We do not intervene in local tradition, madam. Oh, do intervene. No one here would mind it one bit, I'm sure. Local tradition? Local tradition? This farce has absolutely nothing to do with local tradition. We don't burn poor defenseless animals in bonfires on Reek Moon's Eve. Well, it's not an animal, is it? What? I mean, it's magical. It, it's a talking bird. Not an animal, per se. Technically, the man is not wrong. I'll give him that. Of course, it's an animal. Magical or not, it's a living creature, and you should put a stop oh boy. to this right now. Uh, yeah, what she said. Sorry, madam, but unless an actual human is being harmed, we cannot intervene. <sighs> Ruddy coward. That goes for the lot of you, especially that pig. Cowards! Uh, okay. Help. Hello? Help me! Protecting magicals rather than protecting humans over here against magicals. What do you want, bird? I, I don't have time for. I know you. I've seen engravings. You're Keon. Keep your voice down. Where did you see those engravings? I spent some time in Sadir. I'm Crow, friend of April Ryan and Zoe Castillo. You were a friend of April. Friend, partner, sidekick. I came back to Markyria to find you, believe it or not. And since you're the reason I'm in this predicament, you oh, have so to help it's me. our fault. And quickly, because soon, if things go the way they appear to be going, I'll be very, very hot. I'm sorry, Bird, but I need to find a way into the tower, and time is the running... The tower? The Azadi Tower? Big, white, cloud-piercing edifice? I know a way into the tower! A secret way! Get me out of this death trap, and I'll get you inside the tower, I swear on my hatchling nest! If you're lying, I'll snap your scrawny neck. Cross my beak and hope to die, which is a distinct possibility. Quickly now, that madman won't orate forever. Filthy as sin, all of them. Which one's least filthy? Nope, they're all filthy. I feel um. unclean. To burn it! To burn it with fire! The fire cleanses! The fire destroys the contagion! The fire brings the light of goodness to us all! And we shall embrace it! This must be the kindling they used to start the pyre. Pledge to you, the good people of Mercuria, that I will leave no cobblestone unturned, no Sounds cellar like door unlocked, no privy unexplored to find the to last remnants of magic in our fair city. But enough talk! This bewinged demon, this symbol of sorcery, this affront to humanity must burn. Uh, mm, must he? Uh, must is a very strong word. I'm not sure it's a word I use to... Burn, you transmogrified necromancer! Burn! Oh boy, here we go. It's not... it's not lighting up. Oh, curse this cheap imported egg. Probably purchased from non-human farmers. Oh, forget this. Phew. Ah. Burn, uh, what? Feathered gargoyle. Gargoyle? No. No. What? No! Uh, okay. Uh, apparently that was not the correct thing to do. What am I supposed to do with this? To stand up and make a fool of herself in a decent Oops, I drank it. That was like drinking the shadow's <laughs> sulfurous piss. Ah, I'm reasonably certain that had bird shit in it. I just drank bird shit. 
This was not a well-considered action by any measure of things. It's Rape oh. Moon's oh. Eve, oh. sir, and oh. you Why appear do to be uninebriated. For shame, public intoxication is practically mandatory this evening. You're in luck, sir. Most stalls have shut down for the evening, but we're open and will remain open until the very last bottle has been sold. Which, from my experience, won't be too long now. The discriminating Northlander knows we're a notch above the rest. No Southlands imports here, sir. These bottles are tapped in the Northlands with wine from the tart purple grape. I'm sure your wine is more than adequate, merchant. Oh. oh. Very well. What can I get you tonight, most sober of sirs? Perhaps most you want sober of sirs. <laughs> I'm not some barbarian. A small sample before I make my decision. Which wine, sir? Interesting. You want to sample the Dragon's Fire, our most potent wine, capable of reducing seasoned warriors to tears and bashful maidens to... I want to taste it now. As you please, sir. There you go, sir. Give that a smell, a swell, and a sip. I wonder if I can... Hold on. It's a pitchfork. I could use this to grab the bird's cage, but I'd be spotted immediately, and I can't risk sabotaging tonight's mission. That was barely two drops. I'll need a lot more for this to have any effect. Okay. A thimble-sized taster cup. Dainty. I know, it would be nice if we could just spit in the guy's face. Hello again. Changed your mind, sir? Oh, I need him Do to fill the flagon. A little Got it. sampler. I'll need more. I'm a small sample before I make my decision. Which wine, sir? Interesting. You want to sample the Dragon's Fire, our most potent wine, capable of reducing seasoned warriors to tears and bashful maidens to... I want to taste it now. As you please, sir. One, two, three... Four, five, eight... <laughs> Nine? It's like, hmm, this tasting Ten. glass is uh, a bit bigger I don't remember the taste than I remember. Quite so expensive. Thank you. To us all, and we shall embrace it. I oh no, the shrieks. Pledged Sounds like you, Hilaris is about to wrap up his mad Mercuria, ramblings. That I I'll just have to wait leave no and watch. cobblestone unturned, no cellar door unlocked. But enough talk! This bewinged demon, this symbol of sorcery, this affront to humanity, must burn! Uh, mm, must he? Uh, must is a very strong word. I'm not sure it's a word I'd use to- Burn, you transmogrified necromancer! Burn! Oh boy, here we go. Yeah! God save me! God save me! Help me. You lot, break it up. Nothing to see here. Shut up. This poor we, we need to get him to a healer. Now! 
God has protect us. He'll be lucky to support the night. <laughs> right, party's over. Go on, all of you. Go home. Be with your families. Good job. And now? Yay, he's free. Talk about cutting things close. I smell of singed plumage and smoke. So, were you lying to me about that secret entrance to the tower? No, I would never. Uh, well, I totally would. That would be just like me, lying to save my tail feathers. But I was actually telling the truth. I do know a way into the tower. From below. No, not making much of an impression on you. Okay, then. Follow me, big guy, and I'll lead you through the darkness into the light. The light, in this case, being the tower. More specifically, <laughs> that weird pillar of dreamy light rising into the center of the tower with all the rotating metal bits? You mean, the engine? Is that what they call it? The weird thing with the gears and the levers and the metal what's-its? Then yes, the engine. What, you don't want to <laughs> go there? Lead the way, bird. And fast. Crow. And I'm useful again. No. You're always useful, Crow. Oh, hello again. Amateurs! Don't they know who they're dealing with? Don't they know who I... Okay, so Finally. we've got Claxton what took the you so long? Prophet. I've been here for days. You fool. How did you manage to get yourself locked up? Some people don't appreciate art. Come. You need to prepare the engine for the ritual. Uh, yes, master. Master. About bloody time. Interesting. Home, sweet home. Oh, I'm we're sure back in the journeyman. I mean, you raided it and arrested everyone and directly contributed to closing it down for good? Yeah, remember? yeah, we know. Yes, Bird, I remember. Good. Yeah, it's a far cry from how it looked back in those happy days. But I've nested here, it's not bad. Do we have to? Also, it's Crow. My name is Crow. What does this place have to do with the tower? Okay, right. So... There's a secret passage leading from the cellar into a ruined subterranean city below Mercuria. Both April and Zoe used it. I've been through there a few times myself. Purely for research purposes, of course. Not to look for <laughs> treasure. Where's the cellar? Behind the bar and to the right. Behind the bar and to the right, you say. For a bird, he appears remarkably intelligent. Annoying, but <laughs> intelligent. The cellar door is behind the bar. Ah, we can't talk more. Rude. This is the cellar door. They've boarded it up. It wasn't boarded up the last time I checked, or maybe it was. To be honest, I haven't been down there in ages. Well, well Keon's dumb. I guess this is it. There's no <laughs> way past those flimsy wooden boards. How about grabbing a cup of ale and a front seat to the end of the world? Hmm. This is it. The end of our journey. And we came so close. I have to say, <laughs> What's the this verdict? turned out to be quite the twist. Boot to the head. <laughs> okay. Violence. I'm not used to adventuring with people who resort to violence. <laughs> I have to say, it's very refreshing not having to look for keys or levers or trying to trick wizards into lowering bridges. We should have brought you along from the start. You would have saved us a lot of time. Let's go, bird. <laughs> Crow. Crow. Seriously. Watch your step, big guy. Here we are. This is it. The entrance to the grand underground realm beneath Markyria. Uh, it doesn't look so grand from this side, but believe me, it's grand. 
And what are we supposed There's to be looking at? There's nothing here. Uh, no, no, watch this. This next part is truly awesome. Ahem. <laughs> That's Look. pretty cool. Look! Not bad, eh? Just like with your foot upstairs, except with my voice. Come on! What are you waiting for? I can't get through there. I'm sure you can. It's just... Ooh, yeah, no. <laughs> I see what you mean. That would be a tight squeeze. You're bigger than I thought, big guy. Weird. When April and Zoe did it, they fit perfectly, and they're not that much smaller than... Wait, <laughs> I know. You need to sing. Sing? Makes perfect sense. Bird makes music, bird-sized hole appears, human makes music. Well, you do the math. Uh, I... I can't sing. You have a sing-hole in your face. A sing-hole? Air through it. Go on. The fate of the universe depends on it. Fine. How does it go again? <laughs> now you. Go! <laughs> Nothing. That was correct, wasn't it? It sounded correct to my ears. That was, uh, serviceable. So, hmm. Huh. Maybe I need to do it louder. <clears throat> I don't think... Wait, there was something else. When April passed through here, she had some sort of, uh, egg. Egg? A magic egg. It must still be down here somewhere. Unless someone's stolen it, which is quite possible. It was a while ago. How would a magic egg help? How can a magic egg not help? Come on, look for it! This okay. is ridiculous. I feel... ridiculous. From the label, I'd say this probably held liquor once. Ale casks, most likely. A sad sack. A sad oh, sack? Man. Tools. Rusted through and quite useless. From the label, I'd say this probably held liquor once. They were probably used to hang salted meats. Mercurians may fall short in many areas, but they're ale casks, most likely. Oh, that might be it. There's something odd about that lamp. It doesn't match the rest of the... decor. What's this? Some sort of... egg? The goddess smiles on me tonight. I'll just need to be careful. Ah, uh, shadow. There, got it. This certainly looks like a magic egg, whatever its true purpose. Hopefully, it'll help me. My suspicions are confirmed. It's a wall. <laughs> just a wall, really. <laughs> Hey, whoa, what did you do? I used the egg. Weren't you watching? No, but see, see, I told you, the magic egg helped. I guess you needed a magic item because you were so thoroughly unmagical. Me? I'm a magic bird. I'm my own, uh, magic egg. No props needed. And now there are magic symbols. Cool. Well, good luck with that. Florian. How you doing? Nice to see you. Nice work, big guy. And nice work, me. <laughs> Onwards, bird. Crow. Way to pet your own feathers, I Crow. To get that one right. Crow. Shh. 
Shit's going down, Florian. Shit's going down. We got to set owner Hillaris on fire. That made me happy. Mm, lots of stuff going on. There used to be a lot of these creatures down here, grubbers, but they've all vanished. I don't know where they could have gone. They wouldn't really fit in upstairs, especially not with the, uh, those new guidelines vis-a-vis -vis magicals. So what we're looking for is right there, a floaty thing what you can row in? Uh, <laughs> boat? That's <A> boat? it! <laughs> Row, row, row your boat gently across the, uh, the deep, dark, eldritch subterranean lake filled with all kinds of ancient, tentacly weirdness and sleeping <laughs> gods. Please, I have to actually silence. row the boat. Row. And I'm just trying to lighten the mood, big guy. You need to laugh more. I laugh when it's appropriate to do so. Show me. What? No. I won't perform for you like a, a trained ape man. A lot of things to see. Come on, you can do it. It's easy. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> see, open your mouth, smile, push air through. I mean, I have a beak. I don't know how it works for you humans, but if I was going to guess... Ha. Grow faster. Ha ha. Huh? Huh? That's, um... That's sad. Frankly, that was disturbing. Please don't ever do that again. <laughs> you have my word. Good. So, the entrance to the tower lies on the other shore. So unless you're planning on swimming, so... Did you and April ever hook up? You know, mate, copulate? No. Bird, you need to learn common decency. And I am gay. I don't mate with women. Interesting. I prefer females myself. But it's not like there's a lot of us around, whatever my species is. And as long as I'm not starting a family of my own, who cares, really? Although I would like to start a family, I'm getting on. It may not show, but I've plucked some gray feathers. And I can feel it in my way. I would strongly advise against swimming. There are nasty things in those waters. Slimy, tentacly, unpleasantly eldritch things. Oh, you don't say. And I can feel it in my wings. Most mornings, they're stiff as dry twigs. I won't be around forever. It would be nice with a young wife to I take just wanted care to see what he would do years, if I uh, to regurgitate stopped my food and care for our hatchlings. I'd like to pass down some of the wisdom I've acquired through my journeys across the world and all the jokes. I'm sure you'll meet the right bird someday soon. Hmm. I hope so. I really hope so. Well, that was slightly annoying. I had to spam click. Are we moving? Come on. Here we are. This is it. 
This is unbelievable. It's beautiful. My skin is... My skin is tingling. There's a strange energy coming from that. These are dreams. That swirling blue pillar? If you listen closely, you can hear them. Thousands of voices. It is beautiful. This place was built by the grubbers who lived down here as some sort of container to store dreams. And now the grubbers are mysteriously gone. There's probably some greater plot here that I cannot possibly wrap my little bird brain around. The tower is right above us. They built the tower on top of this place. That can't be a coincidence. Oh, speaking of coincidences, I remember the temple that used to be up there before they tore it down. It belonged to the Sentinel, the protectors of the balance. Nice place. Beautiful murals. Shame it got destroyed. And like I said, probably just a coincidence. That's my way up. I'll fly up and wait for you at the top. It'll take you a while to climb the whole way. to see what's going on with Hami. Oh no, it looks like he's down to three men. That's not good. That wasn't good. That's not good. Shit, they're trying to break through. Oh, this isn't good. Yeah, no shit for Dows. <sighs> that took longer than I expected. I had time for a wee nap. Right. <laughs> this is incredible. It must have taken years to build all this. It's pretty nifty. And oh so shiny. You Azadi are really into metal, aren't you? So, what now? I need to access the engine's central control panel. There should be a speaking tube there I can use to reach Anna and Fadaos. I'm guessing that would be in the center of this chamber. And there's someone there. Hi, class. It's just one person. Can you see if he's armed? I don't think so. He looks really old and frail. You could probably kill him. Don't with underestimate finger. him. Actually, he looks familiar. But I'm probably wrong. My eyes aren't what they used to be. We need to be careful, or he may raise the alarm. Stay here, bird. Crow. Crow. It's Crow. It's... <sighs> Don't have a conniption. Okay, so I gotta get to. Various controls for the engine knobs and dials, levers and meters. I don't know what any of it's for. Is there anything that I can pull? No. These are all part of the engine, connected via pipes. I wish I had that sneak button.
These are all part of the engine, connected via pipes. Okay. Is there something back here that I can pull? These are all part of the no. engine, connected via pipes. Do I talk to Krogan? So, what are we doing, big guy? I need to remove that person over there. Remove? Why not just say murder when that's what you mean? When You're doesn't he call someone an absolute in tit? Blood. What? No, I'm not murdering anyone. I'm going to incapacitate him. In other words, assassinate, butcher, annihilate. Put him out of his misery, dispatch him to the afterlife. I could murder you. A murder of Crow? A point taken. <laughs> uh, so I can only talk to him. So... That would lead me to believe. Can I... Can I walk over there? No? Oh! Something's happening. Oh, that's happening. Okay. That helps. These are all part of the engine, connected via pipes. No suspicious wiggling of fingers. Suspicious I'm wiggling of not fingers. Not a wizard, not really. Honest to God, I'm... I'm a, a, an engineer. Just an engineer. For some reason, his oddly shaped head brings to mind Guillen. There's something hmm. familiar about him. For I've seen you before. Your misshapen head, it's familiar to me. Were you ever on Guillen? No, I, uh, 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 The truth now. Not in a hundred years have I been to Guillen. And that's the God's honest truth. Because it's been a hundred years since you've been there. What's your business here, old man? What's my... My dear chap? I designed and built this engine. This is all me. It's an accomplishment without equal in this world, and I... Uh, so, what does it do? What does it... Uh, uh, it... Uh, <clears throat> it calculates. It's a giant calculating machine, that's all. <laughs> He's not being particularly fought. The pickled turnip beats the rod and neck. He's not I'll break each and every bone in your body until you start talking. No, 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 please. I... I don't really know what they're using it for. I, I mean, it's an engine designed to make infinitely complex calculations, numbers, equations, beyond any mortal mathematician's skills. But I don't know what the Prophet and his Azadi emissary are planning. I'm simply doing the Prophet's bidding. I didn't have a choice. I don't make the grand plans. As I said, just a humble engineer. I don't believe that for I find one second. That hard to believe. Believe what you. Oh, thank the cruel gods of old you're here, finally! Please save me from this barbarian brute! You'll be sorry, ever friendly, foul lout. <laughs> Wizards. Good job taking out the frail old guy. Hey, Clax! What does that mean? It means, hey, Clax! As in Roper Clax! Wizard, no one's there. He was writer, trying to fake slightly creepy geezer. 
What's Clax doing here? Last time I saw him, he got arrested by the Azadi for doing a puppet show about magic. Don't ask. It appears he's working with the Azadi, not against them. But it doesn't matter. I need to contact Fadaz. And I'll be perching right over here, keeping an eye on things. Entrance hall guard post. This is Baylor. Uh, do you need someone down there, Dal? Dal? Hello? Well, guess not. Whoops. That didn't sound right. It was not. It was the wrong one. Okay. You should get it right next time. Thank you. That's very helpful feedback, Bird. You're welcome. Hello? Hello? Anna? Fadows? Are you there? How does this Shadow Forge thing work? We're here, Kian. Thank goddess. So, what now? Hello? You don't actually have to speak so loud, Kian. We can hear you perfectly well. I'll put Fadows on. One moment. Apostle? I mean, uh, Mir? Kian? Uh, right. Okay, so, remember our first conversation? You're inside the core now. The heart of the engine. And the chamber you're in, it's a, um, a battery. It contains all the dreams the tower has collected. Millions of them. You've probably seen the big glowing blue pillar. That's the vortex. The manifestation of the dream energy. You're standing by the main controls to the engine. I don't need details, Fadaus. Just tell me what to do. <laughs> Sorry. So... There's a way to control the engine from where I am, but you need to give me direct access first. Right now, the engine will be in automatic mode because it's, it's designed to be autonomous during the final calculations. You need to put it back into manual mode. There should be a panel to the left of the speaking tube. Locate the knob with a hand symbol on it. That indicates manual controls. The hand symbol? And we're in manual mode. Good. That's great work. Um, um, we need to act fast because warning lamps will be lighting up all over. Now that we've disabled the automatic mode, you need to patch me directly into the engine's controls. Do you see the, the panel on, on the, um, uh, I think the far wall behind you? Those are the pipes that connect to my location, to the, um, to the knobs on my console. Oh, that one, okay. You must switch that panel's redirector at the same time you switch the signal repeater on the main console. Switch what with what? At the same time? That that panel's on the other side of the chamber. This operation usually requires two people. Well, I've got a bird. For Dows, I'm on my own here. You know that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, sure. It's still the only way to make this work, so, uh... I'll figure something out. Hold on. Hmm, what do you think, Crow? I think it's time to take a break. You're right, Crow. Let's take a break. <laughs> Angry headbangs. Yes. All right. Let us resume. Um. Bird, we have a problem. Naturally. And since you're including me, Crow, in this conversation, what is it you need me to do for you? Fadows needs access to the engine in order to reprogram it. Furry Dows? Furry Dows. Reprogram? Those words sound like gobbledygook to me. Just listen. Fadows, will Crow be able to switch on the redirector? Crow? What Crow? Crow is a large and reasonably intelligent magical fowl. Reasonably in intelligent. Basic directions. Can he turn the switch? Reasonably intelligent? <laughs> I, uh, I don't see why not. It's it's just a switch. Reasonably? <laughs> Good. So, Crow, that panel on the other side of the room, there's a switch. Fadows, what does the switch look like? Reasonably? <laughs> 
Really? <laughs> it's big and it's painted green. It should be easy to find. Even for a... a bird. Even for a... Oh, just wait till I get my beak on you, fella. <laughs> All right. Point me in the right direction and I'll flip your switch. Even a bird of reasonable intelligence should be able to pull that one off. <laughs> Good. So, you'll need to go... There. See that panel? Look for a green switch. Wait for my signal. Then flip it. Gotcha. Wait, what kind of signal? Uh, a signal, I don't know. A, a wave. What if you have to wave for some other reason? It could get confusing. A fine arm waving. I'll keep my eyes open for flapping arms. Wait. <laughs> Did you actually call me crow before? Not bird, but crow? I have no memory of that. You did. You love me. Oh. I'll do anything for you, Kian. Anything you want. Oh. I can't believe you called me crow. Just do this, bird. Crow. <laughs> there it is again. Consider it done, Kian. Partner. Best friend. Crow's ah. the other oh What do I do God. on my end? So, let's see. There should be uh, three panels where you're standing. And further right, another set of three panels. See the big lever on the first panel? That's the one you need to pull. There's only one. Y you can't miss it. Probably. Pull the lever and hold it down while the talking bird flips the switch on the other panel. Don't let go until I tell you to. Understood. Uh... What lever? There's a lot of levers. Except there's only one. Is it this one? Oh, maybe it's this one. Goddess! Kian? Hello? Kian! What are you- Mother? Mother? Light! Why are you here, Kian? How did you- I'm relieved to see you. Where's- Where's Army? Is he here? He, he's confronting Vamon's men. Together with the Resistance. Mother, we've seen the camps. We know what's been happening on Guyenne. I know, we... I know. We need to talk urgently. But not here. We must leave now before... Wait. What are you doing here? I've... I kept my eye on this engine. Trying to learn what it can do. Kian, I need to tell you something important and we don't have much... Okay, remind me again about that sign you're supposed to give me, Kian. Was it one arm above your head or... Oh, hello. Wait, what? You two actually know each other? Crow... What? Does everyone know each other? How many people are there in the world? Five? I guess I should be used to this by now. I've been around you guys long enough, nothing should surprise me. So, Mother, how's the Office of Scientific Research going? You just let me know when you need another message delivered. I'm your bird. The what? Office of Scientific... You... work for the Office of Scientific Research? Oh, Kian. Works? <laughs> Mother Utana runs the Office of Scientific Research. I know this because I've been a messenger bird for the Mother both in Sadir and here in Marcuria. She's the top dog, numero uno. No one above. She is the Office of Scientific Research. I was oh, going no. to tell you, Kian. Just... Not like this. Not now. I guess it can't be helped. You knew about the camps. About the Magicals. About what... What Sister Alessandra was doing. How long? How long have you known? Wait. 
Are you behind all of this? I don't know what to say, except... I am truly... truly sorry. Uh. Oh, God! Just... No! Just lie down. No! I'm sorry. Hold still. Keon! Don't die on me. That's... That's... That's you not good. No that's choice. really not good. What... What did you do? Did you just stab him? Why? That's... What happened here? Who's that? An inconvenience. I took care of it. For your sake, I hope you're right. What's the matter with you? That goon. He... He sucker-punched me. And now you're back on your feet, so get to... What's the bird doing here? You? Aren't you? No, 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 don't! Afford any more distractions. Oh. The dreams are restless. The engine is ready. Oh. It is time. No. No, she's not. That just happened. <sighs> yep. That Sorry, I'm broken for a second. I need a minute. Like my my tech's fine. I I'm just do that I'm gonna put it on stream once you have it ready actually wait I might have I might actually have something give me a second this was made for me by a friend for something completely not relevant but it I, I feel like this is about how we're feeling right now. Yep. That that's that's exactly how I'm feeling right about now. Thanks, Kathrix, for making me this because this is exactly how I feel right now and what I want to do to the prophet. <sighs> yep, we're Zoe. Alright, let's get back to it. Right. So... Okay, so I just passed through some sort of holographic field. 
What the hell is going on? Holographic field. It says Chimera. There's a red there light. some kind of lockdown. I'm guessing because of me. And it says there Jiva. There's some kind of lockdown. Jiva. That sounds familiar. Wait. Helena Chang's company. My mother. So, our mother's company. They're on some kind of lockdown. I'm so guessing because that. of me. Incubation. This is some creepy shit. One nine. Faith. Faith. As in my half sister, Faith. One five. Hope. One three. Hannah. Wait, like Hannah? Hannah? One. One. Zoe. Jesus. What? What does this mean? Was that my incubation pod? They're scanning molecular structures, people, brains. They're scanning brains. It's a notepad. There's a message from, it's from Helena Chang, my mother. Something about, this is about me. Some sort of physical status report. They've been monitoring me in that room. For months. What's been happening here? Okay. They're scanning molecular structures. People. Brains. More there. What are those things? Shit. This is Unit 7 proceeding towards sequencing. Affirmative Central will find Briar Rose. Briar Rose? Sequencing? Where am I? Underground? And what are those blue lines? Shit. I'm trapped. Halt! Shit. I'm trapped. Bioengineering. This is not Briar Rose. Shoot to kill. No, 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 no. Target's down. Repeat, the target's dead. Affirmative. Head back to bioengineering. There may be witnesses. Take care. Affirmative, Monty Central. Do this, but I need this more than you. I'm sorry. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> fuck Wadi Corp. Ugh. Oh, Jesus. They're all... they're all... dead. They're all... Let me over this shit. What? 
Sandra, I have eyes on Briar Rose. What do you want me to do with her? Affirmative. Night night, sleeping beauty. Okay, so that's not it. Hold it! Sandra, I have eyes on Briar Rose is running, zone three. That worked. Jesus. Dad? Zoe, don't Stop! Don't move on my ship! We got her. She's in the core. I repeat, Target is in the core. Stay there. Everyone stay exactly where you are. Hello, Zoe. Lady, I told you. Mum. Helena. Dad, what's going on? What is this place? You need to get out of here. Now. Everyone, stop talking! The new age. Goddess, protect me. I pray I'm doing right by you. We cannot let outsiders dictate the future of our empire. The prophet is a tool, and so is this engine. Your light is eternal, Goddess. Under my watch, it will reach the darkest corners of the world and beyond. This is going the same way as uh, freaking Dreamfall, like their second game. To stop looking under my skirt. Keon, please respond. Shit. We can't even get out of here with those soldiers trying to break in. Uh, yeah. About that. Uh, is it just me, or is it, uh... Quiet? The soldiers must have left. Something's going on. We need to move. Now, if we can't get through to Keon, or if he's... dead, we need to get into the tower ourselves. But how? If the Azadi really have abandoned their posts? Through the front door. That sounds incredibly dangerous. I'm sure it will be. Let's go. Oh no. <laughs> and now I'm claustrophobic. Thanks for that. There you are. Mom? What? Where's Dad? You must have a lot of questions. Yeah. Hey, why? Why am I locked up in here? Let me out! I can't do that, but I promise I'll explain. Just try to relax. Please, I... Is that... Dad? Dad! Dad, what's happening? Let me out! He can't. Not yet. What did you do? I had to subdue him. 
There's so much at stake, I can't afford anyone getting overly emotional. Even though Helen is my mother, she clearly has little empathy for me. Whatever she's done to me, she is my biological- Even though- Biological mother, mother be damned. Open this up right now. Let me go. Let me out. She ain't got no claim to you. She's been Come gone down. for years. Getting upset won't help you or your father. After we're done, you can leave. You and Gabrielle. That was the deal. Done with what? The culmination of 30 years of research. My life's work. Rebooting Don't give a rat's ass about that. What? I will explain, and hopefully you'll understand. But first, I do need you to calm down and be rational. Nothing good will come from panicking. She's calmed down. She's right. Calm. You've locked me inside a pod. If you could just calm down for a moment, I'll explain why. Just... Just stop fighting me. You can't force me. She's right. There's no point. I don't have any this. other option, but you can't t just tell someone how to feel. That's better. Deep breath, Zoe. Now listen to me. For the past not year how and that half, works. you've been in a coma inside Jeeva's labs in Mumbai. You've been dreaming. No, that's not possible. Hold on, I'm not saying it's all been a dream. Everything you've experienced has been real. That's what's so amazing and exciting, Zoe. While you were dreaming, you projected a physical binary of yourself into the waking world. Think of it like entangled particles, one copy here in my lab and one in Europolis. You dreamed yourself a new life in Propast, and it came to be as real as anything. But why? Two reasons. That's Misdirection, pretty interesting. To keep Corp off our backs, and more importantly, to trigger your memories and activate your latent powers. We needed you to return to that... That parallel other world to find and absorb a primal source of dreaming energy to fulfill your potential. Looks, are you there? You have a unique skill. You must have realized this by now. You can reshape reality. I'm a dreamer. There have always been stories of those born with the power to change the world, but I couldn't wait around for that to happen, so... Your father and I made you. They were married. Of course they made me. What does she mean? How's Gabrielle involved? Then what do you mean by made? You were the first experiment, our first creation. We designed you, the first manufactured dreamer. You were born in this lab. There were other experiments, half-sisters, Faith, of course, the final girl. She was a mistake. And you met Hannah not so long ago. She was the second experiment, after you. You were drawn to each other. And she was drawn here, to Angana, to the dreams. I know she's in Mumbai, but she's not strong enough to affect anything. She poses no threat. None of them worked out, not the way we intended. And I didn't think you would either. So I let your father take you away when you were a toddler. He cared so much about you. He was willing to give up everything, his life, his career. Me? How could I say no? It wasn't until you connected to a dream machine that I realized your powers were there, only latent. That's why I put you in a coma and brought you back here. I did it to protect you. If I hadn't, Wadi would have taken you. Your father had no choice but to come along. He did what he had to do to keep you safe. We both did. We saved your life, Zoe. And we made a deal. Gabrielle would help me finish what we'd begun. It is be kind of an again. info and dump. Afterwards, he could take you home. I'd leave you alone. The deal still stands once we finish changing the world. Helena is clearly unstable. Did she just say what I think she said? Changing what? Changing everything for the better. I need you to understand this. We're going to remake the world, you and I. How? I don't have time to go into details, but there's a place we go when we dream. Story time. Different cultures have different names for it. The Aranda people of Australia call it dream time. 
Think of it as the initial state of all matter and energy in every possible universe, the blueprint. All realities originated in this initial state and they remain entangled, evolving one universe affecting another. Wave energies are fueled by dreams. Particles in our world oh, no. are entangled with particles in Arcadia because they were created together in story time. Eingana has the power to change the wave field and thus the observable universe through dreams. What about my friends in Propast? What about Reza? With how does Arcadia fit into the puzzle? If that wasn't a dream, then what is it? Wati, the dream machine. They must somehow be connected to Helena and Jiva. What about- If I dreamed myself into Europolis, what about Reza? My friends, were they- Dreams? No, you don't understand. They're real. All of it was real, Zoe. You were there, in Propast, a physical projection walking amongst real people. A three-dimensional copy made flesh using the power of dreams. And they never realized. Well, some of most them did. didn't. I sent someone to protect you in case anything went wrong. It's a good thing I did, too. Things spun out of control. It's Queenie, a shame no. he had to die. Falk Friedman saved your life. Okay, so he is As dead. for Reza, it's more complicated. He's been an unwitting agent of Wati. His reckless investigations caught their attention. They needed to manipulate the press and they wanted to keep an eye on you. He was an easy tool, so they brainwashed him. We'll fix Reza, I promise. Wati. Okay. How and Arcadia. One of many worlds spawned from dreams. A world of... <sighs> I, I'm a scientist. I don't understand magic. It's chaotic, complex, and unpredictable. Magic is dangerous, and it has no place in a rational universe. But we needed it. We had to bridge the divide in order to store these vast quantities of dream energy. We put things in motion to return you to Arcadia, but you do most of the work yourself. Of course, we had help on, on the other side, a, a partner, but he didn't... You did it on your own, Zoe. Partner, you were you compelled say. to connect Who's with that? the primal that force the that inhabited the initial state before this universe. That was only possible by crossing the divide. Something called you there. Some force guided you. I, I don't know how to quantify it or explain it. But you succeeded. You absorbed the energy, and it didn't kill you. You got stronger. Strong enough to wake up and break out sooner than anticipated, but the timing ended up being perfect. You've reached your full potential. You're finally ready to interface with Eingana. So what am I? A what is freaking the dream? Through and am I ripe now? They must somehow. So what's Watty Corp's role in this? Watty funded us. Funded the development of the Dream Machine. We needed to collect and store dream energy. The Dream Machine facilitated that. They thought we were working for them, not the other way around. Wadi just wanted brainwashed consumers. They wanted to sell their silly toy to billions and rule over a virtual world. They have no imagination. She's Aingana. Meet Aingana. It took me decades to design and build her. She spans dimensions, taps into the dream energies. She's quite the thing. But she's actually not the first. Wadi had the prototype. They used her to operate the beta version of DreamNet. After she was destroyed, we built Eingana 2. She operates the version of DreamNet currently processing and recording the dreams of hundreds of millions of Dream Machine users. And now, we're reversing the process with you as the conduit, connecting quantum fields, connecting dream time with reality. Eingana will begin to alter our observable universe. That's Don't some pretty. Worry, uh, you won't need to do anything. Crazy she stuff. Knows what to do. I've programmed her, and my template will guide her. Together, you'll make a better world. A world without sickness or death. A world without superstition, intolerance. A world where everyone's equal, where justice and compassion will prevail. 
A world not ruled by corporations or religions, but by science and logic, by rational thought. A better world. She's waiting for me to respond. I think she needs me to understand. If I don't say anything, I need to stall for time, keep her talking until I can figure out a way to open this pod. How will you accomplish all of this? I know you have more questions, but we need to get started before those goons break down the doors and ruin everything. Helena, wait! Here we go. Gee, thanks. Wait, what was that call? Crow! Crow? Crow, is that you? I think so. I'm... I'm supposed to show you something. What? Why? Baby what are boy. you doing here? And where is here? I don't know. I don't even know how I got here. I'm... I'm a, a bit... Uh, a bit... I don't feel right. I'm not sure what happened, and I'm not sure I'm all here, if that makes sense. Mm, no. No. Yeah, no. I can see how that makes no sense. What are you supposed to show me? Oh, I almost forgot. So the ghost in the machine told me to do this thing. This one last thing. The ghost the, said that this has been my destiny all along. The ghost in the machine? I don't expect you'll know what I'm talking about. Crow, I don't even know where this is. A minute ago, I was inside a pod in a lab, and now- We're inside the quantum- What is this, anime? All the stories. This is reality's blueprint. How did I know that? What does quantum mean? What's a blueprint? Well, that explains everything. That was sarcasm. I detect sarcasm. <laughs> this ghost in the machine, who was it? No idea. I remember nothing before meeting you here, aside from a ghost telling me to show you what I'm about to show you. And I don't even know what that is. Show me what? There's nothing here. Let's go find it. I guess we're gonna go find it. What's this? Does this look at all familiar to you? It looks like a monastery. There looks you go. Familiar. Maybe familiar that's here to me. That doesn't really help. Hey, that looks like a diary. It's a handwritten letter. I am at the crossroads between waking and dream. One path leads back to the world I left behind. The other path the other path leads to a place of shadows. Between the familiar and the unknown, between certainty and doubt, my choice would seem obvious. Any sane man would turn around, return to the world he knows, forget what he has learned, and live his life in blissful ignorance. But in truth, it is too late. My choice was made many years ago, when I first embarked on this journey. I cannot turn back. I am at a crossroads. But for me, there is only one path. I leave behind these words in the hope that someday they will serve as a map for someone else. To whomever reads this, Godspeed on your journey. If you ever decide to follow in my footsteps, look me up. Brian Westhouse. Brian Westhouse? Our Westhouse? The plot thickens. Thickens or just getting more muddled? I don't know what this is supposed to tell us. That Westhouse is involved? There's that, I guess. Come on, there's more. 
We're ready, traveler. Your journey is about to begin. I've seen stuff like that in films, but never in real life. This the looks like a Buddhist ready. temple. Step onto the dais, traveler. Okay, so what just happened? Portals. They're all over the place. Let's follow him. Through the... Wait! This is the story time. You know this place? I remember. I was here. For a long time. It's the place between. I didn't want to wake up and they... They needed me. The people who were dreaming. They were sick. I tried to help them. Uh-huh. Interesting. But we need to see what's going on. I'm supposed to show you this. What are you doing here? You cannot be here. It will find you. I... don't... Where am I? What is this place? How did you get here? Go back the way you came. Yeah, it looks Quickly. that way so far, you yeah. You cannot stay. I... I don't... Maybe we're finally getting an ex explanation. Go. It is here. What have you done? What have you done? What do you mean? What? The undreaming. God. What is that? What? No. 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 Ellie what seems very unenthused thing? and unimpressed. That's the undreaming. I know it is. I feel it. Well, that's going to give me nightmares for a long, long time. The undreaming entered West House. It sure did. Was he looking for it? Is that why he came here? Or was it an accident? I guess that's what you're supposed to figure out. Come on, we have more places to visit. Crow's turning out to be like our spirit guide or something. Yep, that's West House. Interlude. Song lines. Yes, Brian West House killed Crow. Is that Saga? Home, sweet home. The house feels strangely quiet. It must be, what, a year since I last visited? And who knows how long it's been for the house. Could be a day, could be decades. Bounce, really I need awesome. to get moving. There's not much time until the song lines align. Let's see. Elixir, a good rope, a spatula, chop chop saga. I'm out of the elixir. 
Okay, I knew that. No worries, Saga, this is all part of the plan. I'm fairly certain the recipe's in the compendium. There should be enough time to prepare a bottle. Prophecies can't be wrong, can they? No. Right? The Hidden World of the Herbal Alchemist, a Compendium of Curious Cordials, Volume 1. The sequels were garbage. Let's see. Elixir of Extraordinary Extra Human Strength, Elixir of Multiple Consecutive Climaxes, Elixir of <laughs> Selective Remembrance. Hmm. There. Elixir of Delayed Onset of Mortality. That's the one. Keep ticking after you've taken a licking. Page 108. Dried blood bog blossoms, leaf of void oak, boiled in strong liquor. Those things should be easy enough to find around here. Okay. If I was making a broth to cure path sickness, sure. Delaying death, not so useful. I put away most of their stuff when Papa left. What's the point in keeping things around? It's not like they're ever coming. Isn't the house supposed to take care of all living things inside it? I didn't know I had to water the flowers. Oh, but wait, maybe... Dried blood bog blossoms. Check. I'm not sure I like that reminder. She haunted us for so long, and her ghost took Papa away from me. I remember something about being chastised. The house was holy, I was not allowed to harm it. I devoured those books when I was younger. It was all I had of the outside world. My books, and Uncle Galleth. But he was careful not to say too much. He knew I was too curious. Magnus left. Great wine. But not enough alcohol for my purposes. Jade green baiju. High-grade stuff, too. I'd almost forgotten about this little bottle of liquor. This should be more than good enough. Baiju. Interesting. Rope check. Okay, let's see. What else do we need? We need a spatula and dried void oak leaves. So probably the... I'm not sure what to do with the plate. What a mess. But there should be void oak leaves here. Leaf of void oak. Nice and dry. I think that's it. That wasn't too bad. And there's still time on the clock. Time to boil up some elixir. Where is Hugsy? I don't see him. Hugsy was in the hallway? Oh, there he is. I thought Papa got rid of Hugsy. Someone threw Did a tomato! Back? It wouldn't surprise me. Huh. Okay. So, I need a spatula. Spatula, spatula. Oh, there it is, on the stove. Spatula, check. Good. <laughs> Ready for elixir making. No, this doesn't look right. I'll bring the alcohol to a boil, okay? Okay. Mix in the fine dust of dry crumpled leaf. Add whole blossoms. We did learn who the, the prophet was. To a boil. Hm. It's Brian West's Easy house. Alchemy, which is so much easier than science. That's the alcohol heating nicely. Mmm, nice. Bit of a waste, but it's for a good cause. Bring the alcohol to a boil, okay? 
Mix in the fine dust of dry crumpled leaf, add whole blossoms, and bring the mixture back to a boil. Okay. Hm. Easy as alchemy, which is so much easier than science. Dried leaf of void oak. Dried leaf crumpled to a fine dust. And whole blossoms. Perfect. Now it just needs to boil again. How do I know when this is done? Will there be a... <laughs> Definitely a poof. Definitely a poof. It looks the right color. And it's already cooled down. I love alchemy. So much easier than chemistry. Laws of science need not apply. Rope, spatula, elixir. Check, check, and check. I think that's everything. With only minutes to spare, you'd almost think the stars are aligning on purpose. Except no stars, paths. Time to go knock down a wall. I can use that sledgehammer. This should do the trick. With my bare hands? No, Papa did too good a job with the masonry. work. Hey, uh, Saga, your hair's clipping through your hood there. Maybe I should dress up as Saga sometime. Be pretty cool. And I think that is a good place to call it for the night. Uh, let's get us on over to some music. Yeah, a lot of stuff happened. So, I don't know about you guys, but I have uh, feelings about what happened. I have lots of feelings about what happened. Yeah. I bet. I mean, I'm still reeling from it. That's for Crow. That's for Brian Westhouse. That's for all the stuff that needs to... That... Mm. I'm throwing my own tomatoes. <laughs> Check Discord. Okay. One second. Gotta pull it up. Let me be the shadow of your peace tonight. Yeah, the rolling man. Let me be the superhero in the fight. 
I love it. <laughs> Things are looking south for you. I love it. <laughs> the best. This is an insufferable pun enthusiast, yes. It already looks good, like, I like the aesthetic about it. And also, um, I love what you did with the staff. <laughs> well, his staff was of the goddess. It was like round and had like a Medusa face almost. Yep, pretty much. I, ah, I just love it. It's great. You killed Crow, dude! He was my favorite! I, you know, I, I, I feel like I picked the correct uh, music for tonight. Yeah, you would think it would be really hard to figure out um, how the heck they communicate, because he's been there since, what, the 1800s? And it's like 2100-something in Stark. So, how? It doesn't make any sense. Also, it's been 10 years since uh, Longest Journey. Or, well, since the events of Longest Journey. Yeah, and when we met him in the Longest Journey, he was just a drunkard. Doesn't really make sense. Yeah, it's, it's going to be quite a time figuring out what all's going on, and, uh, yeah. Lots of unknowns. Yeah, killing in the name of stuff is not cool. But the sad news that I have to impart now is um, we're not going to figure out what's going on until next Tuesday. So we're leaving it on that cliffhanger until next Tuesday. I am going to get the second vaccine shot tomorrow, which means I'm 
probably going to have a fever on Thursday. So, uh, one of the few times that I actually plan on getting sick. So, I will be taking that sick day. We will be back on um, Saturday, and Lolotov, Lawn Dart, and I will be. Um, we will be playing Overcooked, most likely on Saturday's stream. So that should be fun. I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to the absolute chaos that is Overcooked. It'll be fun. But anyways, I hope that you all had fun. I know that I had fun hanging out with you lovely people. Rest in peace, Crow. And I hope you guys have a wonderful and a restful night's sleep. <laughs> <laughs>